Good morning, Tim the Tool Guy here. The project of the day is covering up the holes left by the 12 volt refrigerator upgrade. So, camper came with the standard absorption fridge. And so, what I have is my new fridge, which I love, but I don't love the openings. There's one here, which I, that's going to be part two. Part one is going to be the vent on top. Number two, Robinson bit, like everything else on this camper. Well, it looks like underneath the cover. First, let's see if we can get access to some of the screws. So, so first things first is I'm peeling off the die core over the rub the plastic um, lip on this thing, and I'm going to pull the screws out. Then pull the whole thing off and I'll be left with the die core that's around here. And then we're just going to roll it, kind of try to roll it off. Be really careful with the, the putty knife or whatever you use because you don't want to poke a hole in the roof material. Okay, so basically I tried to cut the sealant around the edge of uh, um, the flange here and try to expose all the screws. So now let's see if we can get those screws off. I'm just kind of taking my putty knife and putting it underneath the flange to break that seal as much as I can. There's butyl tape underneath holding it on. Okay, now the hard part is getting all this sealant off. I think, in my opinion, the best way is to not really use a tool, but to kind of roll it.
some of these screw holes have some high points. So I'm just using the butt end of my putty knife to kind of push them down. I'm trying to make this as flat as possible. Next step is to put a, a piece of wood to hold my insulation up. I've got some half inch plywood. In hindsight, what I should have done is when I had the fridge out, climbed up in here and put a piece of wood in here, but I wasn't thinking about that at the time. So, you know, hindsight's always 20-20. Well, here's my solution to the problem. I cut a piece of wood uh, 12 inches in width and what was it 23 and a half inches this way so I was able to barely fit it in there and then I've got room to screw into here and I've got brackets so the brackets are going to hold it in place I'm pre-drilling holes in the sides of the roof membrane because it's solid, probably cheap pine. I don't want it to split. I did not pre-drill to drill into the plywood because it's plywood and it doesn't really split. That thing is solid. So back in the shop, uh, I found a piece of plastic. I'm not sure exactly what kind I got on Amazon. I'll put uh, the exact description up there. It's about eight and three eighths by about 28 inches, I believe. And it's a quarter inch thick. So what I've done is I've kind of beveled the edges. You can kind of see edges are beveled. They're smoothed down, so I don't, I don't want any sharp edges. Uh, I'm going to screw this down, put butyl tape underneath it. That'll be the first layer. And then I'm going to put some Eterna Bond of a 12 inch piece on top. Uh, it's going to cover the whole thing, make it white so it's not absorbing heat because we don't want that. All right, I've lined the entire inside with foil tape for a radiant barrier. I'm gonna throw some uh, insulation in there. Want it nice and fluffy. Beautiful. Next is this cover, but we gotta put some butyl tape on the other side. even as we can. Okay, now we trim the butyl tape carefully. We don't want to cut the, the roof membrane. Okay, I wanted to add a few more screws. Didn't feel like I had enough in the corners. Now we need to get it as clean as possible. Okay, um, I'm gonna 
Let this sit for a little bit. Okay, I think we're ready. But we'll keep an eye on it, see how well it holds up. Anyway, this is Tim the Tool Guy, signing out, another project done.